Hi, this is Keith again, Keith Adcock with Your Waters and Woodlands. I um, just want to show y'all, this is a blend I picked this year. It's fairly new. It's called Heritage Blend. It had sun hemp, uh, soybean, uh, sorghum. Um, let's see, there's here's some soybean right here. A lot of it's browse. There's been a lot of deer pressure in here, and all I ever did was come in here and broadcast it. Uh, some cow peas or iron clay, whatever you want to call them. See, they hit those pretty hard. Uh, all the pods are gone off of those. The soybean right here, zoom in here, it made some pods. So that'll be coming in. They'll, they'll hit that up. I don't really like to put feeders out. So there's my grain when it's cold. And they'll still have some greens off of this stuff. It's cool season grasses. What I'm broadcasting into this is your uh, rye grain and oats. So we got a rain coming and it'll take off. But you see, they've been browsing this. This is what deer did. And they're, I mean, they're pulling this stuff down and browsing it and they're just tearing it up. It, w it was a lot thicker. And it's gone, you see the yellow flowers. So right here, once anything flowers and the nutritional value of it kind of drops, this is indeterminate. So it'll keep growing as long as we have sufficient sunlight and rain and warm temperatures. But you can see how tall it is. I mean, this stuff, you know, at first I was kind of, questioned it but you look and get down there on a deer level there you go right there and then look up I mean this deer is going to cruise through this pinch point because it's only the small area like they've been cruising they know there's food here they feel secure it's, it's linking those woods over there with these woods here both sides have been burned this year I burned them back in February and you see in there all the vegetation that grew up a lot of native vegetation um, so I'm just trying to rebuild this road. This is where the loggers were coming in and out. And, um, I really don't want a road here. I don't need it. I, it's not a big property, 17 acres. I can do everything by hand and on foot, get tools and whatnot on the four wheelers as close as possible. But, uh, I just want to keep a root structure in this soil and build this carbon back up in the soil. And, and I mean, the, it's working perfect. My plan is working perfect. So this is going to be basically a pinch point. It's a man-made, because I made it, pinch point from those section of trees to this one, but only right here. And I've got a stand up here, and there's a ravine that drops down in there. So they're already cruising through here. There's an old trail kind of right in here where they've already, for years, been cruising in here, working that slope in the morning. Uh, a little higher in the evening, a little lower, but it should get, get me in the bow range, and I'll put one of my boys in that stand, but this is doing perfect, and it's also preventing, it's going to eventually prevent erosion, this stuff that I'm planting now, we'll give them some greens to browse on when it's on our warm days this winter, and uh, it'll take off, and that's this rye grain and oats will probably get about yay tall, maybe about chest tall here in the spring, and I'll lay it down and crimp it kill it and then no-till drill this blend in again and this will get better and better and better and we'll be holding actually all the minerals and uh, it'll never get fertilized I, I may lime it once or twice I'm not gonna lime it this year because it's just gonna wash away I need to get some organic material built up build the soil up so you know I got some equipment to fix this road back the best I could after they left and I think we've done fairly well. I mean, this pinches them down probably into a 50 yard shot, but they're going to be wanting to go more in the middle of it. So we're literally posted up in one of these trees close to persimmons because they, we're not happy. We don't have a lot of acorns, but our persimmons are making. So they'll be on, they'll be hitting those persimmons probably mid November. They'll be dropping. So this, this is just it work perfect. There's bedding in there, layered bedding back in the back. So we have our does and young bucks and bigger bucks. And I've been hunting this for two years. It's my own personal property, 17 acres, and I, now I know exactly what they're doing. And I put two other stands back there. Maybe we'll catch a hunt on them. But this is just putting the deer into bow range for my sons that they're actually going to be hunting rifle. So we're going to finish broadcasting this in. Hopefully this rain comes 
and this will continue to be a gold mine for deer. Anyway, if y'all have any questions or comments about this brand of blend that I put in, Heritage Blend, uh, just comment in the comments below, and I'll be more than willing to tell you everything you need to know about what's in there and what it does, different things it does. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Hopefully we get a hunt in on camera this time.